Hello, what is going on? I am. Um... Mm hmm. Alright, so, um, okay. So today I'll be showing you guys like the behind the scenes of one of my band's songs called Parasite. If you haven't listened to it, I recommend checking it on my YouTube channel. Oh, the link is right here. But yeah, I guess I'll be showing you the what plugins I use and how we composed it and all those stuff. And then I'll even show you like the raw melody, I mean the raw vocals and stuff. And it should be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I have a feeling this video is going to be really, really long because there's a lot to get through. Yeah, just this song has like 70 layers of instruments and vocals. So yeah, alright, let's get into it. So the, let's play the intro first. This is the intro. Alright, so the first thing you see, which is this one, I mean the first thing you hear, that's basically just a serum patch with like some reverb and stuff yeah just a saw nothing really complicated and it just goes through a compressor and then just uh high pass it all right let's go to the next part which is slightly more interesting they're screaming in my head i don't know what he just said they told me that i'm still alive Alright, so this part, um, we'll take a look at the instruments first. So I just made like a simple beat here that has um, a sub, which is this sound. You know, very fat sound. And then I just put a. Where is it? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just like some volume manually side chaining it. You know, just so that it it doesn't just so you just leave some room for the kick, I guess. Speaking of kick, it sounds like this, and then we're gonna snare here. It's a very uh a very hip hop kind of snare, you know, very EQ and stuff. And then here we have a hi hat. Also, you know, very hip hop kind of trap kind of sound, I guess. Uh, yeah, so let's play the thing. Oh, yeah, this sound right here. Uh, oops, uh, hold on. This is like the a riser but it's really really short yeah if if you were if you were wondering what the sound that was all right uh okay we just continue on oops all right and in here we got a real drum for the drums i just use a mt power drum kit too it sounds good enough and it's free so you know it's free so yeah mm -hmm. let's go to the vocals now the vocals are here so for the vocals they are being sung by my good friend Arthur all right let's hear it roar roar so why is my pronunciation so bad today okay never mind uh yeah let's just hear it roar I guess they're screaming in my head. I don't know what he just said. They told me that I'm still alive. Yeah, those are the vocals. And I just, if you want to see the chain, it's just uh, it's a very long chain. <laughs> it goes from a compressor so that you can compress the sound just a little bit. And then through a high pass filter here. Another glue compressor just to, you know, even things out. I boosted up the highs a bit and the mid just, just a little bit and then I just removed some bass 
another EQ to remove the hissing sounds and all that a gate I have no idea why I have a gate <laughs> okay and then uh, another EQ so it sounds like this they're screaming in my head all right uh, let's hear the vocals with this thing this is the reverse uh, reverse audio thing I guess it's basically his voice but I just reversed it and then I put some reverb on it and it sounds like that and then this one right here they told me that I'm still alive it's basically a distorted version of uh, this one so all together just the vocals it sounds like this without the instruments just the vocals they're screaming in my head I don't know what he just said they told me that I'm still alive colors dancing far ahead have I gone too far? It started raining blood again. Who am I? Is this really what we are? Yeah, this one is just uh, it's transposed down a bit by eight steps, and just to make it more interesting, I guess. <laughs> All right, uh, nothing much here, and then here we just have a a riser. You can hear it. you know just to create tension and stuff alright so that is the intro of the song uh... yeah let's go to the next part which is the first verse of the song why did I hear a clicking sound? that was very strange Oh, okay, I don't know why that's there. I think I accidentally pressed the record button or something. <laughs> okay, never mind, uh, forget about it. Alright, so for the first verse, we have some synths going on, and then it's probably the most, uh, it probably has the most instruments being used in the entire song. So let's look at the synthesizers being used here. We have a helm. It's basically playing like a arpeggios and stuff of the chords. And then here we have the pads. This is yeah, it's just a pad. Okay, and then here we've got some violins. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention, the violins being used in this version is different from the original. Because I just, I, I, I forgot to install the VST, the, the plugin, so what I did was I just used a different plugin. It's actually a lot better than the previous plugin, it's by Spitfire Audio, and yeah, the violins sound very realistic. And then for the bass, it's a it's a grid bass, grid like G R I T. It sounds very uh, I'll just show you. You know, very thick, very fat. Lots of compression and distortion. I put a distortion pedal here. Yeah. All right. Uh. All right. Let's continue on. I guess. It's di uh, this thing is just a sub, nothing important. Oh yeah, uh, here for the drums, the set of your drums. Why does that sound oddly familiar? Hmm.
All right, so this part we're gonna we got the guitars. So uh, yeah, just guitars, I guess. I'll just show you the guitar part. It sounds quite bad, actually. <laughs> I just realized how bad it sounds by itself, but with other instruments, uh, it sounds alright. If you're wondering, uh, the chain is it's a tuner so that I can tune my guitar. It goes to a gate so I can filter out some frequency sounds like buzzing sounds, and then it goes through uh, this thing. It's a distortion pedal. It goes through an M. This is a free M by Ignite. Amps, it sounds really really good for a free amp and it goes through a cabinet called Nadir is also free as well and then some EQ to boost the highs and lows and then scoop out the mids so that it's a very modern tone I guess and then we just have left and right you know one panning to the left one panning to the right all right um, I actually wanted the guitars to be quad quadruply recorded wait wait no it, it is a term uh, quadruple so basically it's like two guitars to the right two guitars to the left but I was too lazy to record it four times so yeah I just dual tracked it I guess left and right so it sounds really wide and yeah Alright, so we're gonna go to this part right now. So the other vocalist in the song, Ray. Yeah, she was used to record this part. Alright, I'll show you. Okay, this is actually quite interesting. Probably my favorite part of uh, editing the vocals. Alright. Okay, so before this part. Wait, let me just uh, solo her thing. There we go. Okay, we have a reverse vocal thing here going on. And then it goes to this part. It sounds huge, like it sounds like a a good like a I don't know, <laughs> stadium or something. It sounds absolutely huge. Because we recorded it twice. And then, yeah, I just put some reverb and stuff, and then put one some delay, and yeah. All right, so I'll show you the vocal chain here. So this is the first one. It's, it sounds quite bad actually. Okay, uh, never mind. Forget about it. Alright, so this goes through a compressor and then it goes through Melodyne just to uh, correct the vocals a bit and then it goes through EQ8 and then it goes through a glue compressor some multiband dynamics, some gate and then the uh, Oreo reverb which is a reverb thing for this one Is this is basically to fill out the mid frequencies as you can see here so we've got the high frequencies here which is the first one and then this one is just to fill out the mid frequencies right here and then goes to this one yeah this one's more of a I'm not sure actually why I quad track this <laughs> it can be done in two tracks but yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, but yeah, this one's really interesting here. It's quite hilarious, actually. I don't know if you were able to hear that, but it's like a one octave higher just to fill out the really, really high frequencies. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Where am I? What am okay, yeah, never mind. Uh, forget about that one. Uh, yeah. 
press it so the whole thing together where am I what are we oh. <laughs> no 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 okay the whole thing together is It sounds absolutely huge. I just love this part so much. All right. Uh, for the next part, it's a. It's the pre-chorus. I think it's called. I'm. I'm not sure what term you use to describe it. Yeah, it's a pre-chorus. I wish that I could live again. Alright, this part was probably the hardest part to edit because like okay so me and Arte we were like discussing back and forth like how loud should his vocals be, how loud should the guitars be like you know I'm trying to make this part as low fi as possible but he's like no nah, we need the vocals to be softer I was like no nah, we need the vocals to be you know so we just sand back and forth copies and stuff so yeah all right anyways uh, the guitar here mm -hmm. left and right guitar yeah they had recorded two times basically the chain is uh, it goes through a, a stock Ableton amp and then it goes to a erosion to make it slightly wider uh, some compression and then just an EQ yeah that's it really it's the same with this one it's just played slightly differently oh uh -huh, that's a guitar part oh yeah we needed the, the distortion because this part was okay this one was clipping so to save the whole thing and then to avoid me from recording this again and again I just put some compression you know it helps all right let's hear the whole thing breathe again yeah some 808s oh, I wish that I could feel again dream again Alright, so I'll show you the bass here. It's it's really really cool. I just love this part. Oh I just love that part so much. <laughs> this is probably the second favorite I don't know like the second favorite my favorite second favorite part of this song. Alright, let's continue on. Alright, so let's hear the vocals for the chorus. This is the actual chorus. There's only one chorus in the song. Alright, let's hear this part. No, no, no. Um, hold on. Hold me close. Why is that happening? Uh. Okay, there we go. Hold me close. I wish that I could live again Breathe again Alright, so there's the, the raw vocals But why aren't there any plugins? Oh, okay, so these vocals are from here But I freezed it and then I moved it here Like basically I just exported it as a wave I guess or something And I just put it here but the vocal chain is uh, the process chain is a compressor melodyne just to you know pitch the things I guess 
correct the uh, pitch and then you got some EQ8 some glue compressor some multiband dynamics and a gate I have no idea why I put gates for vocals it's so strange maybe it's like a noise gate or something but yeah I don't know why <laughs> I'm confused by my own choices and then uh, EQ again alright yeah, let's just listen to the whole thing Oh yeah, the breakdown. The breakdown was probably the hardest part to record because like because of the rhythm I guess but the rhythm isn't really complicated it's just that I was really bad at recording guitar like back then I guess so yeah I'll just show you the the raw guitars this is for the right uh, right channel yeah, no 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 that's just the wrong one it's here it's here sorry This is in drop B for the guitar, so I'm just genting on the B, I guess. Oh yeah. It sounds very buzzy, it sounds so bad. <laughs> Alright, let's listen to the left one. Oops. Okay, this sounds a lot better. Notice how the guitar sounds slightly off? Yeah, because I needed to do a lot of after post editing and stuff. So, yeah, I was really bad at back then, like recording guitar, but I'm, I'm okay now, I guess. <laughs> Alright, uh. Oh, the lead guitar. Alright, so the lead guitar is, is slightly different than the rhythm guitar. It still goes through the same uh, overdrive and M and then the cabinet, but it is extremely high frequency. Like it has been EQ'd so hard. Just just listen to this. Yeah, and it just goes through some reverb to make that you know huge sounding thing. I guess this is for the. Alright, this is the other one. Yeah, it's basically the same, but it's recorded twice just to, you know, do stuff. Okay, let's listen to this part because not a lot of people actually realize that this part exists in the song. I'll show you. I love that the end part. It sounds so like gently, like do. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah. So let's listen to all of them together, all of the guitars together. Uh. Oh no, I can't do that. All right, let's just listen to the the lead guitar first. For some reason, this part was the easiest easiest part to record. And then this part was the hardest one to record. <laughs> you see how this part and this part, they are not 100% in time. So I just put a lot of distortion just to, you know, just to distract people from noticing that off timing. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So all of them together. Alright, this is a really funny part. 
uh, where is it? Okay, it's right here. This is the voice breakdown. Alright, let's listen to this one. This is just basically a normal vocal chain but with a EQ, you know, kind of like lo-fi effect thing and then some saturation just to make it sound like a megaphone and stuff. Alright, uh, yeah, and then this is the last part. Okay. love that grand piano at the end it sounds so grand and so like, majestic by the way if you're wondering this is a different grand piano from the original it's not even a grand piano it's an upright piano but yeah like it just adds a sense of like it gives you that horror kind of vibe and I really like it and it just so the chain is basically just some EQ compression and then uh, uh, yeah, some reverb, and then you get this. <laughs> Look at that audio scene, uh, audio wave, like, whoa. <laughs> so I'll just show you the guitars by itself. sounds absolutely menacing <laughs> okay never mind uh, yeah. Yay. and then this part at the end I remember rendering this song it was like it's a complete song it's finished and then the vocalist uh, Arthur is like hey can you do that thing like you know like a lot of indie bands do at the end of the song they just like a you know, like a guitar, like they just stop the guitar with their nails or something. And then <laughs> I was like so lazy to do this part, but I was like, you know what? Maybe it's worth it. So, yeah, I just put it there just to get that kind of uh, indie kind of vibe. I know. <laughs> uh, the drums was quite interesting. It's some kind of thing going on with the hi-hat I don't know why I just really wanted to put it in it sounds very very interesting I, I, I've very heard people doing this on the drums I know <laughs> all right that's the whole song yay we have done it Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, this reference thing here, this is just like MIDI and stuff. So I usually write songs with with a piano, and then I just put instruments on MIDI. If that makes any sense, like, well, a lot of people they just put up an instrument and then they just kind of compose using the instrument. But for me, I compose everything using a piano. And then once I'm done, I just convert it to MIDI and then any instrument can use the MIDI, right? So yeah, I do it for every instrument except for the drums, obviously. But yeah, that's the whole song, I guess. Mm hmm. What if I not covered? Um, yeah, it's sound effects here. They're just risers and then, you know, white noise and I'll show you the white noise. Yeah, just white noise and risers. Nothing really special here. Uh, yeah, I think that's the whole song. It's a really long video, but we managed to finish it. Oh, yay. Alright, so if you managed to reach this, then reach here. Then thanks for watching, I guess. Maybe you're really interested in the production of this song and other stuff. Yeah, if you're really interested and if you want to ask me any questions about music production, then you can just comment below. Yeah, that's it, I guess. Mm -hmm.
Alright, thanks for watching and then I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.